The U.S. Supreme Court is temporarily blocking a lower court order to end the use of Title 42. That is the pandemic era health policy that has allowed the administration to send most people who illegally cross the southern border seeking asylum back to Mexico without due process. Our Washington Bureau Chief Alex Cameron has the details. Well, use of Title 42 was originally supposed to end back in May, but a federal judge in Louisiana stopped that. Now Chief Justice John Roberts has kept it in place. But even the most ardent advocates for border security know that ultimately Title 42 is temporary. It will go away at some point. The key is how you're going to enforce the law. Oklahoma Senator James Langford says the administration's had plenty of time to prepare for the lifting of Title 42 and for the already overwhelming number of illegal crossings to spike even more. Clearly, they're not organized. They're seeing this massive flood of people still coming at the border. And right now, the administration's asking for additional dollars to process people in faster but not to stop people from coming across the border. With as many as 14,000 migrant encounters per day expected once Title 42 is lifted, the administration's asked Congress for $3.5 billion to streamline the asylum process, hire more Border Patrol agents, and improve surveillance along the border. And they remind critics in Congress that they are the ones with the power to change the system. The immigration system, our laws, have not been reformed for more than 40 years. Senator Langford says reform is needed. Congress has not taken the problem seriously enough. This has just not been a serious effort from Congress to really resolve it. It's press releases, it's public statements, but not a serious effort to actually resolve it. And this is an issue that Senator Langford has become passionate about. If or when Congress does eventually get serious about immigration reform, don't be surprised if Langford is right there in the thick of it. In our Washington Bureau, I'm Oklahoma's own Alex Cameron.